guys. It's Darren with Eastwood and Survival. A friend of mine and I are out kind of playing around today. Ran into some really good pine and I thought I would show you how you could find some fat wood type material off of the tree uh, that would help aid you in starting a fire. This is actually just a lower branch on a pine tree and a lot of times these will be rotten or dead and if you'll cut it pretty close to the, uh, the trunk of the tree you'll see there's a pretty high concentration of pine resin in this. Uh, this is really good fire starting material. You can also find these on some dead trees. This one happens to be alive, but we'll look at a dead one here in a second. This is one that's fallen over and uh, it's exposed its root ball or the root system to uh, the air here. <laughs> Now you can see this has got a little bit of concentration of sap in here and it smells like pine saw. have a real heavy smell of pine saw. This is not super rich but I'm sure if you kept looking around uh, it would be fine. I'm going to split a couple of these pieces down and show you what it looks like when you burn it. Now as you can see this has got some high concentration of resin in here and this is what you're after. The darker it is, the more concentration it'll have. This will be almost an orange red if it's really concentrated. Now, you can just shave off a couple of little pieces of this. This is an excellent fire starter. You could actually make a torch out of this thing if you needed to. Split it up into smaller pieces. Now you can see this starting to melt some of the resin out of there. You can see it bubbling. Now you can see it really good melting out. Now if you're wanting to get into good fat wood, you can actually come into this stump and start tearing away all this loose stuff. Now this is what you're after. This stuff inside. It's not rotted down. It's really sticky. But you can keep digging into this and process more. This is pretty hard. Now you can see these color differences. This is where that high concentration of sap is located. Pine knots are also good for finding high concentrations of resin, so don't discount those either. Here's just a pine knot. Part of the way up, you can see it's got some pretty heavy concentrations of sap in that. Don't forget to look for pine. Whether it be on a live tree or a dead tree, you can usually find this uh, heavy concentration of sap, and it will help you get a fire started. Thanks for watching, and I hope to see you in the woods.